Hello and welcome to Fusion Fundamentals with me MJ. Today we're going to be taking a look at this Geneva wheel or Geneva mechanism. Um, we can see that it's got multiple joints as well as contacts that are interacting. So if you're not interested in the design phase, just skip to the end and you can see how we did the joints. Um, but enjoy the video. We're going to start off by drawing the index plate. You can see the outer diameter is 100 millimeters and this inner diameter is 15 millimeters. It is not marked there. Um, and then we'll just do these slots that have a 7.5 millimeter diameter. So that radius will also be 7.5 over 2. Then we've got our 30 millimeter arc in there. Um, let's start by drawing this outer diameter and the slots. Can see our slot is 20 millimeters from the center there. I'm going to create a sketch on any plane. I'm going to go with the top plane. I'll start C for center diameter circle. First one will be 15. C again. Draw another 100 millimeters. Then we'll take our slot tool, go to create, slot, and will be a center to center slot. I'll draw that over there. It doesn't really matter what distance, um, so long as the second half of the slot or the right hand half is outside of the circle. And then this is seven and a half millimeters. Now I'm gonna put on a vertical horizontal constraint between that part of the slot and the center. And then we'll do our center diameter distance, which was 20 millimeters. So I can see everything is fully constrained there. Now we're going to pattern this. So what we could do is we could trim off all the excesses, but then um, we're going to have things not being fully constrained. So I'd rather have a bit of a mess around the outside uh, on the drawing and have everything fully constrained. So we're going to create a circular pattern and the object will be our slot that we drew. Center point will be the center of that circle and the quantity is five. So there we've got our first bit of the index plate. Now we've got this center diameter circle that I'm going to draw over here to get that arc. That had a radius of 30, so I'll draw a 60 millimeter diameter circle. And the distance between the center point of our drawing and the center point of that circle was 65 millimeters. And then lastly, we need to make sure this is centered there. There are a couple of ways to do it. You can draw a 45 along here and make sure it intersects. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to create a construction line. So line, change line type to construction to these two points. So if it's any two points that are um, symmetrical, we'll be able to set these as equal. So I'll go to equal, set these two lines as equal, and then it will constrain our circle there. So that's fully constrained. Next, we can go to circular pattern. We'll select that. Center point will be our main center of the circle and quantity five. There we can see, looks like a bit of a mess. We've got all these shapes coming out of it, but I didn't want to trim it and then have these excesses. So finish sketch. What I'm gonna do now is extrude. We select this center piece here and extrude up five millimeters. See there we've got the body of our Geneva wheel index plate and then we've got this little fillet on the edge over there or a chamfer sorry that was two and a half millimeters it wasn't marked in the drawing but it is two and a half so we get chamfer zoom in and we'll select the edges we want so we just make sure we get all the edges I think that's it. Now we're still missing these two. Let's get the top view again and we'll type in 2.5 and there it has moved it off nicely for us. I'm going to create another sketch now on this top plane or on the surface of the top plane and I'm going to project just P for project. Not that whole thing. My mouse slipped a bit there. Just the center circle here. Okay, finished sketch. Now we'll extrude this 
and we'll go minus 10. So that should extrude at the bottom by five millimeters and we want a new body operation. So there we've got our index plate as well as the pin that it pivots on or turns on. So we'll change this, we'll call this index plate and this one we will call index plate shaft. So there's our first part of our drawing. Now we're going to have a look at our cam. So we've got a couple of circles we're going to draw. We've got this one with a radius of 32.5, so that's a 65, a 60 and a 15. We'll come back and do the others. Just now, we're going to create a sketch on the top plane, center diameter circle, more or less in the right place. 65 millimeters, another one C60, and then the last one is 15. So I know that these parts relate, so I'm going to just move this in here, and then I will create a tangent relationship between this circle and that face or that edge. Go back into the top view. And we've got a couple more circles to do. Next we've got this index pin which has a seven and a half millimeter diameter and then this edge which is a five millimeter radius. So I'll draw that seven and a half millimeter and then I'll just draw a ten millimeter circle, 37 and a half and 45. I'll push C, that's a seven and a half millimeter. Put on other one that's 10 millimeters and the distance between there and there is 37 and a half and the distance between there and there is 45 and then what we're going to do I'm going to just draw a construction line heading out here this is going to be a line that we use to orient our circles. So I will go coincident, make this line coincident, or that circle coincident with the line, and that one. It's going to T for trim, get this out the way, because that's not going to be full there. Next we can L, draw a line, take off our construction line there. This is just going to be coming past here. We're going to make these tangent you can see in a minute here we'll go tangent so that point is tangent and then this line tangent to that circle we'll repeat it with this other line and now we can go about trimming off the excesses see I just push T for trim let me just undo that there I'm taking away things I don't want to get rid of and then these as well so there we got our index pin and the plate. What I need to do now is draw that edge that's cut in. You can see here it's got a radius of 52.5 and it's not in here but that is 65 millimeters away from the center there. So I'll go C, 52.5 is 105. We'll make this coincident with our construction line. And now we just need to set this distance between these two points. So D, that is 65. T for trim, we'll get rid of the unnecessary bits. You can see like in the last one where I didn't want to remove the unnecessary bits, it leaves a lot of light blue there which means it's not fully constrained but for this one I will leave it like that. Finish sketch. Now we can extrude these. I'm going to extrude this top one. It's going to be five millimeters up and let me just turn off the index plate. Okay. Turn our sketch back on. Extrude this. This will be minus five and then 
then our index pin will be 10 but make it symmetric and whole length and it's joined there we can see it's all neatly put together the last thing we need to extrude is a index shaft for this or just a shaft sorry 10 millimeters and that is we're going to make this again symmetric and whole length and it comes out the middle um, you can see I didn't extrude that bottom bit there it's going to find I think that was our second extrude we will select this face as well and there we go we can turn our sketches off and our index plate back on so those are the bits and pieces we're making I can see here I used a join operation in the last one that's supposed to be a new body so we'll double click on that and change that to a new body now we can label all our pieces so I want to make sure that we've got the right things so it'll be camshaft Let's just hide that away I've got these two bodies here I want these to be one body so I'll go to combine and select the two bodies okay and we've got the cam plate so now we've got all our pieces I'm going to select all of them, so click on the top, hold down shift, click the bottom one and we're going to create a components from the bodies. So the reason we're creating components is because you cannot create uh, joints between bodies, they have to be components. So let's add some joints. First I want to, between these two, I'm going to just select that one and then top one will be also the center there and we can see that's moving over there we had this as a revolute joint okay now what I need to do with this index plate shaft I'll right click on there and say ground that way it's not going to be moving around I'll repeat that step with the cam so joint will select that component and the top will be in that place again just check it's a revolute now we will go to cam shaft and ground it and you can see if I grab it it moves it around and it's interacting um, normally we just have to go to assemble and enable contact sets so you can see there now it's disabled so I had it on enable all contact so now we can see that it interacts nicely so if I have to go now and right click and say animate joint relationships it's moving nicely for us what I want to do first before we finish up here is just add a bit of uh, better looks to this so we will right click on here, select appearance and we'll go with black center pins so chrome black and the bodies will have some vibrant colors get a yellow over there a yellow plastic you can apply that to this body and the pins or the shafts can get a black and then go with blue for the index plate I'll just hold it over there finish and we'll just hide our joints there then we can right click on it and animate joints we can see there how our Geneva mechanism is functioning perfectly so I hope you guys enjoyed the video, if you did please like and subscribe, leave a comment down in the comment section and stay tuned for more of my content. Until next time, bye.